They can scalp elite level teams. And now, of course, face off for the lion's share of that $100,000. And of course, to be the champion here at Challenger Katowice. We kick start things over towards Ancient Source. Start on the CT side. Bait start on the T side. Expecting big things out of bait here on Ancient. So far, just rushing straight up middle. Uh, pretty simple, I guess. Given a lot of space to get through, but oh. they are prepared on that source side of things. Roman had already pulled back. He finds one head before going down, but he's getting so much information. It's the Julies, of course. This is what they do. The IGL making himself known as he takes two heads. Asenthial and Captain Kirker to do oh. it all. Captain Kirker, he comes in late with a big kill. The bomb still in an awkward spot at the feet of Mutiris. He's... Moved around, picked up some utility. You can kind of tell by his movements on the server that he is indeed locked in, looking for that all-important headshot. You jerks has not really been spotted out too cleanly. Had an opportunity to make that easier, I suppose. Still leaves it down to the Ooh. 1v1. You jerks nearly lets it slip. The 180 turn was there. The bullet just did not quite land. Can bait go two for two in a similar side of a series? I mean, although Bait have looked good in this tournament, like I say, there's been a, an awful lot of close maps, you know, some overtimes, ooh. some ooh, potential slips. I mean, would have heard that. Nade makes it in. It was actually the spam to finish off. The mid-aggression here from the CT side looking super effective. Now stepping up pretty massively into this final, not pulling any punches at all, just head trick remaining. Does manage to find one, but that is all she wrote for the round. The first rifle over as soon as it begins, it feels like. They've just completely thrown that idea out for now, and they're going for the A play, it would look like. So, again, that speaks well to Saw that they're able to get into the heads of their opponent. Speaking of heads, though, there's a headshot on the cards. You jerks will be the one to take it. Aguil on the site has gone down early. Oh. A late peak from Mutiris finds two, stops the bomb plant for now, and the orb came round to upset any hope of that plant. Once again, looking very good from Saw. A real surprise here, of course. This map has done very well for them. But this is one of the difficulties. We'll see how the attacking towards A, the contact play goes. New jerks left very, very low indeed. Man advantage is there. They just want to make sure that they hold on to that. Saw not giving the fights at all. Not really any utility remaining here for bait. They're going to have to try and cook something up and immediately flattened. Completely telegraphed, completely predicted there by story on the AWP. Mm. And yet another moment of Saw's prowess being shown here. And it's, it's such an odd decision of kind of what do we even do now? We have no information. Is it anybody towards mid? Has somebody wrapped in through our spawn, right? These, these are all the things they have to be a little bit cautious of. And you jerks making a move. And he will actually labor that spray a little bit. So Sentiel does get a moment to bring something back. But this round's off the cards. There's seven seconds left. They can't go towards the site. They have no information. They're so scared about somebody flanking all the way from B that they're just going to shell up and keep hold of these AKs. Awful spot they were in. I think Bake have sort of got to buy back in towards the next one because of the double eco situation. Yeah. They have just played this map. They have just finished on this map. It's now an entirely different team, an entirely different way of Counter-Strike. You've just spent all that time kind of adjusting. And unfortunately, it's not working what you were doing against Paint. It's not really working here. So yeah. it is a very, very confusing um, mind state to be in. I kind of had a different word to use there, but I'm not mm. sure it's as broadcast friendly. <laughs> but well, you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, and you can even see when you look across Bay in terms of the position they're in, we've been speaking about how much they've been struggling in mid and elbow, and Alex is the elbow player. He's 0 and 8. I mean, he dies there with a bit of mid control, and MPL might have a drop, and he will get a kill. Materis finds one. Captain Kirk on the drive-by as well for one of his own, but Story still staying alive, and it puts Hedrick into a near impossible one versus three, surely. Does get two! Hedrick's made this a possibility. Tap on towards the bomb as he looked for the third. He's wondering, where is Akil? No information game with 35 seconds on the clock. And he has a chance to rotate back over towards the A site. And he's got that perfect timing too. Akil is still just cautious. Has he moved in towards Cave? Is he just going for a bit of a double pump and going to double back towards B? But that is not to be. As the bomb will go down, and it makes it very difficult now. Retake is definitely on the cards. Full belt to Util for a kill. A kit as well to work with. And Hedrick's taking a tag, so it makes the M4 in that range of the one bullet headshot. But a kill going to take his time as well. 
Very cautious, moving round. Hedrick wants to fight, and it might actually work in his favour. Might try and catch Akil. Of course, but he turns his back, and that's going to be a clutch from Akil in the one versus one. Hedrick makes it so close, but it's not close enough. Maybe going here. They've really got to be careful. And as we've touched on a number of times with this bait squad and their, you know, sort of close maps and everything, who is the voice to step forward? Who is the voice to just kind of calm everybody down? Exactly. We don't really know. There's there's not much in terms of the experience here. Agil goes a little deep. Will lose his head early on. A big find for bait. They have to convert this now. Yeah, maybe a bit of overconfidence off the back of that clutch. He tries to get proactive and he gets so deep in, he probably should have just held that position. Even traditionally, you're normally good for one in that spot. But it wasn't the case. Minute to work with. It looked like they want to take a bit of cave control. And Cynthia will be that first point of contact. With the numbers in their favor, now the time to just play that body system. We kind of saw in the interview yesterday where this sort of wolf back style that they're so good at is something that makes bait quite scary. And there we go. Trey's going one for one is very good. A smoke down towards short and a bit of space to work with. This will isolate you, Jerk, but he gets a Molotov to make his life easier. Is he going to be clear? The answer is going to be yes as well. But what's the support like? Not good enough. This finally has to be a bait round. I think Story just saves. Could easily slow the game down and just, again, ice bait out. Yeah, it's even such a small thing, but that is the first round. So it took nine rounds for bait to get an opening kill. You know, when you, I'm sure you get that call up to Na'Vi, it's a dream come true. But then you've got some uncertainty, some weirdness going on, and it can affect your game. Some players don't recover from that. Speaking of not recovering, so again, I've just met them on the other side of Smokes here. Oh. Story to take down Hedrick as the final frag, and yeah, just a flurry of kills. Saw with the immediate response, bait. It is worst case scenario, man. Really, really poor that they are unfamiliar with. Again, another one that they played in the semi-final, but they did lose it. So, yeah, you know, true. it's a rough old run uh, in that sense. If you can't get off the ground on your own map, surely we are expecting the opponent's map to go downhill as well, Roman. Ridiculous. You've got to be joking. I do have to start feeling for bait at some point. <laughs> There's a lot of moments where it's like, damn, yeah, what can you do about that? Yeah, you can't even say that MPL's done anything wrong there. He just gets unlucky. Roman fancies himself for a second. Could catch a Senthial, but it goes the other way. So I'll give a bit of jack control. Maybe where we can start moving our way forward towards B. A decent setup, you jokes. If he can go one for one here, that's okay. But that eludes him. And same for Aguil as well. B side broken open. And a two versus three, but very doable. Look at the HP bars over towards that abate. Materius, his shadow will betray him. Ascential now waiting for the fight, and he might even try and pull over a bit of a rotate for support. They're just a bit scared of a flank. Materius, he will claim this. Takes a bit of time, but at the same time, Ascential and Hedrick both fall simultaneously. Down goes Alex. 0 oh, and 10 for him, and 10 for Saw. Oh man, it just keeps going from bad to worse. Okay. Opening kills, like we said, they've really been eluding them. Howard, as we head into the 12th round of play, it's only one round so far where they found an opener, and it will continue. Roman gets the first, and sent the owl trade, but you jokes are only good for once. Still a chance here for bait. Potentially, Hedrick with a big kill on the orb. It is this one on the backside that makes all the difference. Materius is uh, the unlikely top fragger here. Has been absolutely oh. flattening them. McGill going to catch Hedrick as the Molotov rains through. Ops to take the fight with Materius <laughs> with the spam. And again, as I said, honestly, nothing going right for bait. They clean up the site. They get the bomb down. But I think the gods of Counter-Strike certainly in the favor of the Portuguese here this afternoon. I'd even argue those odds look pretty good to me. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, like <laughs> this is kind of crazy, but we'll see. Maybe bait can do it on their CT side. Give us a bit of something to talk about. Yeah, 11 and one towards Saw, and you know, if you flip Alex's deaths and kills, that's the KD he's working with right now. It's been a rough display from bait. Bomb down already. They're not even contesting as that plant comes through and MPL. Will be that first contact, goes well. Oh, and a second as well. Oh, the third behind it, MPL. Pictures moment to come alive. What a time to get a quad kill. Whenever Bait needed someone to step up, it's the man in the middle, and MPL picks it perfectly. What a quad kill.
Materia's played out in front of this as well. Smoke in towards Red Room gets broken open by the knee. They don't spot as well. The little lurking presence in via elbow. I like this from Materia. He's not a commit. He's just sticking around to show presence. Nice swing from Roman. Nice find. I feel like Asenthia should have got the kill there, but the fact that he doesn't will make things a little awkward. Materia, he tries to get through and he delivers wow. as well. Oh, it's falling apart in a matter of moments. Unbelievable. I mean, what a tournament Materia and Roman are having. You know, the old guard, the ones that you expect to look at the situation that's unfolded before them within the team and go, you know what? Screw this. <laughs> I can't be bothered anymore. Like I've so played enough. This, yeah. I've had my had my high of the career, making it to the semi-finals of Cologne. You know, big game, yeah. all this kind of stuff. Got my sticker in the game. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like you maybe expect them to be a bit like challenger kind of eats a cool guy, I suppose. But brilliant round out from them in general. Speaks to their ability. Wow. Ujerk's going to lead the charge in this one though, as that entry, the spam. Through the wood is good, but it doesn't find the frag, doesn't stop that bomb from going down. Needed just one more bullet, and Roman would have been six feet under. Not to be, and it feels like this could be all over before it even really begins, unfortunately. Five versus three, bomb down, and time ticking on this retake as well. Aguil holding, and he might have heard, yeah, he definitely hears these steps in towards Shell. Could be in trouble here. The first and the second lined up, drop down. Not even any sort of due diligence to clear him in towards Cubby. And the last one, Ascentiel, he was spamming them earlier. So they've got the right idea. This one is more or less wrapped up and done here. And Ascentiel buying some time to maybe see if he can get a kill or something at the end. Will not be flawless round and a near flawless map of Counter-Strike from Saw. Absolutely ridiculous. They perhaps were disappointed in themselves and that first map is testament to the work that's been done. This one, however, is... Yes, very good for Saw, but the caveat I'll give it is that it's predictable. So we'll see what bait have got for us in the pistol. Not so good thus far. The ramp push comes out solid. Alex is in behind though with the jewelies. He is being watched for. Roman's got to find this frag and Alex gives him no attention at all. Well read, well played. And now the run of the mill for Saw. The bomb is down, but they don't necessarily have to rush the plant quite yet. Aguil as well holding for a wrap from hell. So even if they want to try and reclaim a little bit of ramp control to support MPL here, it's going to be very, very difficult for Captain Kirkup. And already starts to fight. We'll dip back up and towards the top side to go for that long rotate. He's the one with the kit. But as I mentioned, bomb's not down yet. We're just sort of trying to figure out where is MPL. Now we found him. So FC made he goes back down towards double door. Door will be open. Captain Kirkup on the brink of being... Drop from this round and a two versus four post bomb. This feels now on impossible, surely. Captain Kirker, he will fall, surely, in just a moment. He's so low, and the jewel, he should do the job. He's struggling, and he needs a reload as well. He's getting chased out of there. It will be Saw getting the pistol. It's not going to make a difference there. I mean, maybe we just keep hold of the kit, but I mean, who cares, really? It is a weird situation for him. He's hanging out on the ladder. Hold on. Hold on. I mean, he has to get on this perfectly. He's surely going to be hurt here, yeah. Mutiri. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hanging around. Can't land the bullet. The headshot is just comical from Captain Kirk. Uh, he's, he's been a nuisance. He's been annoying, of course. Taking a gamble is better than nothing for bait because they didn't gamble and they were quite timid in towards Ancient. And it cost them. Yeah. Good to see them coming up with something creative here. You jerks does take the first. NPL, however, takes his teammate. He's left low. They will both kind of shake hands and walk off. Nice find from Captain Kirka, though, with the lobby push. So we've got lots of different ideas coming in from bait, as you have so rightly pointed out. Not much of that on Ancient. What can Saw do to recover here? Trying to send the bomb slowly around, but the main contingent is looking for the heaven presence. Asenthial is very ready with this 5-7 round the corner, but you jerks. <laughs> Knows his angles, of course he does. It's Alex down below that may well see this one off. Aguil, one versus three. Knows there was one below him. He can hear him as well. So it should be a free kill. It will. Back turn. Down he goes, but a quick trade coming through from Captain Kirka. Will mean bait bite back. Make mm -hmm. that force by work. And now we can start to build on something. You know, I saw at the end Aguil cut to him and it was sort of a well, well, well kind of moment on his yeah. face. Uh, they can pick up rounds. They can come up with ideas and confuse us. Oh, Materis, beautiful shot from him. 
great first map coming out. He'll be looking to tap back into that once again. MPL, a bit too deep. There's a gun to work with there if they want to go and pick it up. Looks like at the moment that's not the priority. The pistols are grouping up together. And they're starting to wrap towards outside. Alex spotted out in towards main. He definitely doesn't want to be facing a long-range Deagle, that's for sure. And Sora now waiting to see whether Bait try and react to them and overextend a bit, see if he can get another kill in their favor story. Could be a bit of trouble. Nate doesn't exactly make its direction, so this could be a pop towards A. Yeah, we'll see Alex down below once again. He found great success from Ooh. here in the previous round, and this time they deal with him much better. Captain Kirk is still alive and could, with a choice bullet, <laughs> find the key headshot, but it's Roman that returns it back onto him. Head trick now. Rolling in from behind. He does have late support from Asenthial. Not super close to get the trades in. Are they even really going to give this a look in? It would appear yes. Angle checked half arsedly will cost the life of the first. Asenthial still does have the kit. Some keen headshots could make all the difference here. He's going to forego the M4. May well be a soft save from him as he doesn't want to cross the threshold into the squeaky door. Indeed, he will take that M4 and get out of there once it's sort of confirmed. Again, still sticking around, so never giving anything away for free, but saw back in with their force buy. So this is messy, and I think that Saw will be happy that this is the way that it has begun. It allows them Absolutely. again to just get down in the dirt and early nade damage onto Mutiris. Gonna burst out the ramp. Kind of contact, to be honest, and straight into the stack. Each one of them chiming in with a kill. All too easy, the setup too tough. And unfortunately, with that style of burst, where the players were already out before the first flash came in, it's just gonna play into the hands of bait. Even if they lose one, I think yeah. they would have picked up the ramp control there. Yeah, well played. I, I think for Saw, in a weird way, they might actually just call to save here. That M4 in particular is something that they'd like to keep alive. And the Galil is, I guess it's not the best thing in the world, but it's better than nothing. So yeah, it's going to be a long, just shy of a minute save for Saw in this one. Alex just jumping for information. They'll get it in a moment. Oh. Looking for that boost, but it's over towards double door stairs. I don't think we're going to do the same. No, we're not. We're just going for a dry peek. That'll give Alex the ability to rotate away, but then doors are open. So he's under pressure here. He's got to hit the shot and he can't. Yujok swings and finds. And now things start to look awkward as Ascentiel gets tagged up low. Well, we can't find the vent there, I think, is what's just happened. Uh, that's a little bit awkward as Been he came there. through staring at the floor. Yeah, I have, not in the grand final of Challenger <laughs> event, though, to be fair. So he'll be a bit frustrated at himself. At the very least, he has slowed down the CT rotations, right? I think with the confusion and the presence, they've taken a moment to go, OK, is there anyone else around? What the hell's going on? So before we really make any substantial progress, the bomb is already halfway ticked. It's going to have to move fast here. Muterius in for one. A second from him at the single door is maybe all they need. MPL's going straight in for the hold. Will he get away with it? No, he won't. Muterius, the IGL, he knows this bomb site well. And another big round coming through from the in-game leader. At the moment, it's not to be, right? And this is a CT side that has to build up. Normally, we say five rounds T side nuke is pretty good. And Saw aren't too far away. Agil needs to be careful. Story, the first of four. The spam, the response is great. As Roman and Agil combine. Bomb denied. This is carnage. It's chaos. Saw like it, but it can work against them. The pace can be the thing that chokes them out. Yeah, there is always potential for those trades. Bait have got a lot of players around to facilitate that. Some body work coming in to get that bomb down. Mutir is creating space for Roman. They are both left really quite low. Agil's healthy, but he's on a Mac 10, right? So the odds are stacked against Saw here on... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this retake <laughs> pressure is on. The nade doesn't land very well at all. Agil trying to do a bit more damage to himself, I suppose. Level the playing field, he says, because the Mac 10 doing great work here. No kid available for bait. No way in. Time. And no way home. They're out. They are indeed out of this one. Saw will take the unlikely round. That felt like a decent retake, but all this damage, it's unconfirmed. They don't know how fast and thick they could play. Yeah, well played. Really well played from Saw, just in that carnage of that situation. Make it work for them. Akil does go down to the bomb, but it doesn't really bother Saw all too much. Maybe eventually towards the middle of the half, one of the teams will figure it out and string a few together. But Saw pretty quickly dealt with uh, that situation. 
Didn't take them as long. Didn't get super, super messy. And again, Fate maybe trying to match them in their own game with a bit of chaos <laughs> here, but Saw are very ready. Story holding the edge of that smoke like he's seen it before, but maybe not ready for the presence behind. His teammates will get caught by the aggression eventually. Roman oh. doing one of his own. Kind of goes the wrong way, but he's dipped in. Got himself into a good position here. You can see him being very vocal on the camera. Trying to convey this info. Great catch onto Alex. And still a fantastic spot for him to work with. And one that is so hard to pin down. Whereabouts is he? Don't rightly know. And he is now looking to run rampant. Creating so much space. Is the bomb with him? They don't know, but it's just been seen there on the way down. Then that actually makes Roman's position really strong because they're thinking they're going towards B and no oh my way. god, why is Captain Kirka turned around there? Why is he even checking heaven? They've just seen the bombs gone secret. Wow. What a 180. Someone someone in the comms has said, yo, remember one could be heaven. And he's gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah let me have I was a look. like, I was only looking hell, guys. He could have jumped up. Just be yeah. careful. I was like, yeah. I'll have a look. Because I thought he was surely dead to rights by just, you know, not yeah. giving it any attention, but that's kind of crazy. Ooh. That's an aggressive peak, would you not say? I mean, Captain Kirka maybe had a clearer path down the vent than he would have realized. The Sential does know that Mutiris is all alone, and his head will roll. Hold on to the bomb coming in. Story's got to try and deal with this. Hasn't even heard it on the orb as well. Can't spray in, and the Sential's played it perfectly. A big win for Bait. Story waiting, hoping to catch some aggression once the presence comes in downstairs. Hedrick has found Roman. So not a good start here for Saw. Do they want to commit? And maybe with Story again being a nuisance up top, the answer is going to be no. The bomb has pulled away. And now again, they've got this outside control. It's a lot of what Saw desire on this map. They really do play around it well. And what are they going to do with it? You know, do you send players up? Do you maybe move into hell? Ooh. Nobody really knows. And Hedrick gets caught off by the timing. Head pops up, takes him down. Oh, in the rafters, Ascential maybe has a good spot, but he bails on it, doesn't trust himself to hold the angle, will move down. Captain Kirk has been heard and finished off and saw showing exactly why you've got to be careful. They take an inch and they will turn it into a mile. It's actually just masterfully played there as well. From a man disadvantage, they've done absolutely everything right. Literally don't take a, a step wrong off the back of it. Story waits patiently for a fight to come towards him, and he takes it, and then they isolate Jules behind it too. I mean, so, so well done. You jerks a full here to Alex, but it's just not gonna make a difference at all. And there's no chance of saving, that's for damn sure, as Agil will confirm that fact. Honestly, that is a really good round from Saw. The way in which they've played that from the four versus five, Hedrick finds Roman to start that round off. Alex. Holding Keen here, as he's the only one with any substantial weaponry into this round. He's trying to pay a peek into him, I think. Yeah, and he does go <laughs> down. Story laser beams him out through that smoke, and ultimately that's going to be the most dangerous player in the round dealt with. That doesn't necessarily mean that it is over, but a nice find to just ease some pressure. What a shot. No right to really hit that, but... That's the sort of form Saw are in right now. All the fortune in their favor. And Story wanting to be a little proactive here. He's wanting to try and see if he can crack it open himself. I like this backside though. Will they clear them? Yeah, with these, the pistols might get a consolation kill or two. No, that'll elude them. Just one left, this MPL and a Deagle down in towards the vents and he is being held for. Making his wait here for the finish, of course. Oh, there you go. He's going to go up late as he's hearing footsteps. Try and get the catch. And he does time it well. In for one, oh. in for two. Lovely stuff. AK retrieved. And Story, of course, wants to keep his AWP. MPL knows his numbers and will survive there on the edge of lobby. So, I mean, they'll take that. They'll take that. A couple of kills out from him makes it expensive. And, of course, the AK moving forward. Well, towards our side, you just got the right idea as well. He's waiting and holding for just a pixel to work with. Smoke so gonna come down over towards front main. So that should nullify MPL in just a moment. They haven't got the outside control, so that's a very risky peak from Story, and it feels quite unnecessary too. Oh! NPL with a beautiful find as he covers his man. Another over-aggressive peak as they feel pretty confident about themselves moving into the latter stages of the first half. They are 
wrong. <laughs> Hedrick can still hit shots. Three piece for him. Roman is potentially going to give us another long save here. There's really no. We're able to cook up here. It seems to be more of a fake outside with those smokes as the main contingent is ready to go in towards a Roman nearly catching one dedicates to the fight Captain Kirk are going to get two but he's oh. going to be caught reloading here and will indeed fall maybe now they can do something with this but again the, the main areas you know are not smoked off because of the lack of nade Shot. but they just overstep story finds two on the AK from down below leaving it all onto Hedrick who is this man throwing the flashes going back to pick up a little bit more utility and he is left one versus three. Ah, oh, and of course, the smoke retrieved off the floor is enough to see him out. He's just going to have to wait or maybe try and go for a reposition. He's hoping that there's somebody around he can pick off before moving into the bomb site, but nothing presenting itself here at the turn of the half. It looks like Saw will secure themselves the eight. Head trick. Running out of time now. Smoke goes down and Mutiris will find him in the head. So that is indeed the half and it's better from bait, but will it be enough? Keeping the hype alive for the grand final here of ESL Challenger Katowice alongside Naokai for this one. We got so wow. much nadage bought up for the T side. We shall see what they can do with this. Bursting straight out. They've got a game plan. They're sticking to it. And thus far, a couple clean heads will indeed roll. It's not quite over just yet. Two versus three. Bomb will get planted now. I didn't quite catch if there was a kit down, potentially with Agil's lack of money completely. There might just be one on the ground, but they still have to get through the head, still have to find a way into the bomb site. You jerks walking out, trying to be cheeky, just can't land the headshots. I like the idea, it just won't happen for him. There comes the first. He oh needs a few gosh. more and he's denied away. So Bait, with the all-important pistol, will keep their dreams alive here. That's good to see as well. With his life intact, up into the raft as he quickly moves, calling for some rotations here as well. And it is this FAMAS, you know, the scariest weapon in the round that makes its way all the way down. Is he going to be considered here is the big question. Nade goes in. Minimal damage in all fairness. Smoke as well to slow them down at the obs. Window. Deagle on the edge of the Ooh. smoke. Looks good. Roman chimes in. Story now activates for two. And Alex is left upstairs with it all to do. Nothing coming for bait and saw have read them like a book rotated aggressively and indeed it works out yeah alex was meant to be like an insurance policy to catch yeah. rotations once they got the bomb down but that's a luxury that they weren't given here has the support through main very timid here in the start from bait not quite sort of one of those tack pauses about calling the tack pause roman spams and he gets the bomb too that might have even been heard as it drops, Roman could be good for another as well. Alex just walks straight past him and doesn't even clear. Materius, Agil, all step up. And Roman, he starts it. He cleans it up. And he waves bye-bye to bait as well. Hi, guys. Mezzi here. Make sure to sub to ESLCS. Keep right on. Grand final here. So much on the line for them going into the Ooh. uncertainty of next year and moving into the <laughs> RMRs. It's going to be a dangerous prospect if they can't get themselves going against one of the bigger teams they may well have to play in this major cycle. MPL is gifted a kill. Well, I'm yapping away about the stakes. He'll take those easy ones. Story finds him through the smoke, though. So still some ridiculousness for Saw, of course, but this doesn't look too bad for bait. No, Materis, he'll play into his credit. The only thing he needs to be worried about is that garage is not being held. So he has to double back. It, this is the right idea. Materis might get a drop here. Oh, what are you going to line up to as well? We're just not even thinking about the possibilities of an outside garage player. Materis gets a freebie of a double. The third might even gift itself over on a silver platter. But he runs out of ammo. And a model top of the toes is going to heat up the situation. Hedrick and Alex. Now, not Alex. I've got it all to do. 1v4. Hedrick, what have you got for us? The first ain't bad. The second doesn't even get its chance. Saw, map, series, grand final point. You can see, on the first. like, Saw don't even need to calm these situations as well, right? Because it, it, the cohesion's so strong. Which is, you know, first of all, credit. With a new player coming in, for your cohesion to be this good, it's just an absolute credit to them. MPL going to be the first to fall. Scrib, this might be already over. 
It looks that way, doesn't it? Mac 10 trying to be the hero. Not going to happen. Oh, and have done it. They take it over the line. No sweat off the brow.